I did the cover of the magazine and it was quite uh, easy in a way. I just took some, take back a picture from one painting I did here in the crystal ship, one of the, the last past years. Uh, it did make sense for me because I already did more than 50 paintings here, so why should I make a new one if there is already everything there? So I just took one of that could, that could fit and, and change it a bit to interact with the logo of the magazine. And, um, and, uh, and that's a bit the same way I'm working also directly with the stencil. I have a number of stencil and I can always combine them and interact them together with, or with the, the background. And, and what, that's what I did, a uh, ready-made image to use it on a different purpose. My experience with the crystal ship is quite particular because it's the third time I take part to the same festival, so this festival. And um, I think it's because I, Bjorn likes to call me now the mascot of the festival just because I'm there every year. And the first year was really crazy because they put me a lot of location and I did even some really big walls. So it was like about 40 locations. I couldn't make them all, but almost. So. Um, so it was really intense and, and I could cover really all the city, in a way. And uh, I think it, it made the snowball effect because it was an open call for people to give the wall. And, uh, and so I think they were talking between them and so, yeah, can we have also a painting of Joan for the next year? And so they were even sending me some message. So it was really funny. And then the next year I came back and now it's the third time. So yeah, I kind of feel like home and in holiday when I'm here. Uh, I'm always painting those little, uh, they are trash men at the beginning, but after everybody don't see every time that they are trash men, but the most important that is they are workers uh, dressed in fluo. And uh, I always paint them because I used to be one of the trash men of Russell for my student job. And um, I realized a lot of stuff about those person and um, they have an interesting position in the society. They are like busy with the garbage of everyone. If they stop working, everyone is in trouble, but no one pay attention to them at the same moment. So it's, it's kind of funny position. You are really important, but totally invisible. So that's how I start painting with them. And then after slowly, I realized that they could be really, they, they could carry a really strong message because I think it's one of the biggest problems on earth for the moment. It's the waste, the plastic, the everything, so the consumption. So I think, yeah, it's related to a lot of people and it can talk easily to people also.